Trump's social media platform has gone public. And just like all his business ventures, it is crashing and burning. So Truth Social went public just last week on Tuesday, March 26th, under the symbol of, you're going to kick yourself for not guessing, DJT, Donald J. Trump. Truth Social only made $4.1 million in 2023 and spent $58 million. These are not the numbers of a company that should be going public, you might say. And you would be right. Truth Social went public via a loophole of merging with a shell company that is, it's called a blank check company, and they're, they're literally set up to help shitty businesses go public without having to go through an IPO because this shell company just absorbs them and then they're part of this public company. So he was able to skip the whole IPO process, which is full of actual, you know, like procedures and regulations. To me, that this never would have happened if he'd had to go through the IPO. But what do I know? After the initial frenzy in the first week of Truth Social being public, the stock price is plummeting. On April 1st, the first full week, an article on Yahoo Finance reads, as we drafted this story, we kept having to update just how much its stock had crashed. 9%, then 15%, then 18%, then 22%, then 24 Overall, shares are down almost 34% over the last five days, dipping to below $50 after rallying to over $66 following the merger. Let's see what Truth Social's number is at, uh, stock price is at today. So this says dipping below 50. Oh my goodness, we're down to 37. So yeah, today they uh, they tanked by 9% as soon as it opened. As soon as the market opened this morning, they tanked by 9% and they leveled out to only being down 8% after that at close. So yeah, uh really bad stuff. So this is one day. Let's look at let's look at 3 months. Oh, this is all the shell company. This is all the shell company. And this is when Truth Social went public. And it's just been a free fall since then from 66.22 down to 37 buckaroos. Oh, my goodness. It's so amazing. So, uh, first of all, I love that he chose to name this DJT because now we and he can open up the stock's and see DJT just crashing and burning. I hope it feels really personal to him. I really hope it does. And I really hope, on top of that, that this, that this failure is just a little taste, a little prequel to the big ego nuke that's coming for him in November. So, yeah, like, uh, like our friend said in chat... Let me make sure I shout you out. Like MV said in chat, this is what they call a pump and dump. Shouldn't even be legal in my opinion, but here we are. Uh, this is a rug pull. It's a scam where a company overinflates their stock value, pumps it up, gets everybody to buy it based on nothing. And then all the people at the top get together and decide they're all going to pull their shit out at the same time, which tanks the stock and means everyday investors like you and me are left with nothing. That is what has happened here, in my opinion. The fact that you can do a rug pull like this is another example of deregulation, just letting businesses do whatever they want, totally hose normal Americans and uh, essentially manipulate the, co the economy however they'd like. Because you see this a lot with crypto, with a lot of the crypto coins. They've almost all been a pump and dump rug pull situation. 
The problem, though, is that nobody who is casually buying DJT Truth Social stock is going to care or be outraged by the way they are being used and manipulated. They will happily turn their Social Security check right on over to Trump for him to put in his toilet and flush. (laughs) 